In the last video, we looked at const and how it is used with basically primitive types as well as with pointers. In this video, I want to talk briefly about its meaning with references and then the use of const on uh, methods and with classes. So, first references. So I can make a reference d that is initialized to A. Oh, oh. Okay, and that compiles nicely. I can make it const, and that's also happy. If it hadn't been const, but a had been const, that would be unhappy because then I would have a const integer here, which I'm trying to make a reference to. Same problem with the pointer that we had with the pointer. If you're going to make a reference to a const int, the reference needs to also be to a const int. And then this should be happy. Now, in the case of pointers, it was also possible to put const over here and make the pointer constant. For references, that's not an option because it's not needed. Remember, one of the things that distinguishes a reference from a pointer is the fact that once a reference references something, it's, it's basically an alias and you can't change it to anything else. Whereas pointers, you can alter what they point to. Once a reference is created, it references that object for its entire life. So as long as it's in scope, it will reference the same thing. So this other const over here while it made sense for pointers, doesn't make sense for references. So what about const for classes? Class foo private int a double b public. Let's go ahead and let's put a constructor in here. The initial value of A, the initial value of B. Let's see if we're happy, if I have any typos. Apparently not, not yet at least. Okay, and since those things are are private, let's go ahead and let's write a method. Um, int get a, and I'm just going to implement it in here. Return a. Seems like a reasonable method to have. Still happy. Let's declare a variable of this type foo f and I'm going to pass it 5 and 98 and then let's print f dot get a okay It runs, it gives us back five. Everything seems to be happy here. Okay, now what if we make this const? Should this be happy? Well, I didn't change anything. I am calling this method called get a, but get a just returns a value. It doesn't alter anything. So it, it looks at first like this should be perfectly happy, but it's not. It turns out that when an object, when you have a variable of an object type and it is const, the only things you're allowed to do with it are calling const methods. And so there's a modifier for methods. We don't put const here because I've put const here, it means it returns a constant integer. But somehow I need to say this whole method is const in that it doesn't change things. That goes back there. 
Now I'm allowed to call get A. What about setting A? Okay. Well, clearly this method isn't const. And if I try to call it on a const f, this should not work. And the next question is, well, OK, what if I wanted to trick it and say, oh, no, that method's const? It's smart enough to notice that too. Because this method is supposed to be const, it says, whoa, you're doing an assignment in here, and that's not happy. There are ways of getting around this, but you really, in general, should not be doing them. If something is const, you want it to be constant and unchanging. The ways in which you get around this might be helpful at times for certain optimizations, at least in the code that you write. The problem is, it can mess other people up when they use your class. In particular, if you start doing multi-threading or something like that, something that is truly const, okay, that is completely immutable, is safe to share across threads. However, if you mess around with the constness and you somehow make it so that things can change underneath that the outside user can't see, while the outside user might not be able, might, might not be able to see it, it's still going to break multiple threads when you run it. So you should, and this is the thing to note here, because the only thing that you can call on a const object are the const methods, you really should be labeling every single method that is, that is const as const. Okay? Don't have it so that if you forget to put this in here, uh, it leads to problems where people should be able to call methods just like we did originally. We should have been able to call get a but we couldn't because this hadn't been labeled as const. So you want to label all of your constant methods as const so that it works nicely with any code that you might need to write.